Hey guys, Miss Moxie here. I am in the middle of a deep conditioning treatment. Um, and it's courtesy Miss Jessie's Super Sweet Bag Deep Conditioner Treatment. I've been asked before if um, I've ever used any Miss Jessie stuff. And up until July, I never have because I didn't know where I could get it here in LA. I mean, I know there's places you could buy it, but I never had any time to like seek it out. So when I went to New York, um, they're all over the place and I got a jar of curly pudding. Let me go get it, be right back. Okay, so I got a jar of curly pudding and, um, and I like the smell of it and the texture and I figured, you know what, while I'm here, I might as well just get it and try it. So I came back and obviously I've been using it. I haven't been keeping you guys up to date, but I started using it and I really, really, really liked it. So um, I kind of want to show you guys what happens with my hair uh, when it comes to Miss Jessie's. Also, um, it kind of worked out in a really cool kind of way. Uh, I want to say a month ago, and this is how I got this, um, I guess this sample. Um, uh, I can't remember his name, one of the people from Miss Jessie's hit me up on YouTube and asked me to stop by uh, a beauty supply store here in LA because they were having a showcase and um, the two founders were going to be there. So I went down there and I introduced myself to the guy, not really thinking that he knew me, but it's cool because he did. <laughs> so I had a chance to sit down and talk with the owners. So what I'm going to do now, and they were so sweet, their hair was beautiful, and there were so many women there, and they answered, seriously, they answered every single question all these women had. So just off the strength of that, like I will co-sign with Jessie's because the 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 creators are super cool and they're sisters and their sisters. So um, yeah, but I've tried all kinds of stuff and I'm definitely not like promoting them. I paid for this baby butter cream, um, even though I probably could have finagled a free one, but I paid for it because I'm trying to support um, the black dollar. So um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna sit under uh, my dryer with this. Uh, Miss Jessie Super Sweet Bag Deep Conditioner um, with a dryer for about 10 minutes. And then um, what I'm gonna do is I'll play some of the interview with you uh, or for you so that way you guys can kind of see what these women are all about because they were really cool and really sweet. So um, I hope you enjoy. From early on, Titi and I, we were doing each other's hair. Our grandmother had everything to do with our, our product line, our philosophies, our approach to life. Um, doing each other's hair at a young age and then I always, I've always been a girly girl so you know doing hair was my dream and then TD getting on board and it just kind of, it was a process and we all came here together, the clients, our customers helped us, moved us in this direction as we kind of change and it's just, just people just coming together and it's the right, right time. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, we, our salon came along at a time where there really was not any, there really were very few products you know, for natural hair and naturally curly hair. We've met so many people that have come to our salon saying that, you know, I've been natural, this is like my third time wow. going natural because what happens is they go natural, they don't have a product that they can use and they give up and then they relax their hair. Mm -hmm. So at that time we realized it was very important for us to come out with products that are going to really help women that have natural hair and naturally curly hair style their hair. Um, any tips for transitioning? Transitioning can happen, you know, one time with a big Chop, but transitioning can also be a slow process. It can, it can, you can go into a weave, you can go into braids, you can straight style, and you know you'd be delighted when you see that big chunk of new growth. And you know weaves and, and braids, they take your mind off of that grow out period. That period can be very daunting, and some of us can't handle it. So take your mind off of it. Now they're making wigs that look fabulous. So oh, yes. if you want to wear a wig and you don't want to, you know, make the commitment to have braids or tracks in your hair, um, definitely get a wig. But take your mind off of it, enjoy your process if you're not ready to do the big chop, and really, really anticipate a, an exciting adventure, discovering yourself, your texture, you know, everything that comes with it, new friends, mm -hmm. <laughs> new possibilities. Mm -hmm. um, how, do you, how do you sort of determine which of the products is best for your hair? 
well. The texture. The texture. Absolutely the texture. I mean, everyone's texture is different. That's why we have a select group of products that, you know, not every product is good for every different texture type. Uh -huh. So we really, it, it really depends on the texture in terms of which product we're selecting to really get an optimal result. What are the three quickest hairstyling tips that you could sort of offer to people? If that makes sense. Well, um, in terms of styling curly hair, it really is all about moisturizing, conditioning. You start off with soft hair, your end result will be soft. And you, you have to really detangle and, 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 and decondition your hair, very important. You have to do that and it's really all about smooth. Mm -hmm. Curly hair looks good when curly hair is smooth. Yeah. So every, every head of curly hair, I believe, really needs to decondition. That's very, very important, starting off with decondition. And then your styling is a lot easier if your hair is detangled and conditioned. Apply product when your hair is wet. That's key. If you want to elongate your hair and your hair is natural, natural hair tends to have a lot of shrinkage. So the one way that you can really elongate your hair, at least temporarily, is to use heat. And you're going to use the, the, the nozzle tip of a blow dryer and you're going to drag that heat down from the root to maybe around mid shaft. You don't want to drag it all the way down. And what that's going to do, it's going to elongate the hair and, and really kind of give it more, you know, more elongation. I'm about to go wash my hair out and then I'm going to put the curly pudding on so you guys can see what it is, okay? So I'll see you guys in a bit. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'll just section my hair out like this. And I obviously, when I was in, before I did the sweet back conditioning treatment, um, when I washed my hair and, um, when I washed my hair and, and put my regular conditioner in it, I washed, I mean, I, I combed it out with the conditioner. I washed out the conditioner and then I put it, um, then I put the sweet back stuff in there. So I'm just gonna do this just to section it out. It's gonna be like super messy and whatever, but I don't care, because it works really well. Um, and actually, I am gonna start from the front, because I'm not gonna do my entire head on this thing, because just not. Because um, you guys will get the point by the time I'm done with the chunk, the first chunk. Okay. Okay, so we have this. Oh yeah, these are my bangs that I cut, if you guys know from the last one. But I've been able to camouflage them pretty well. Um, when I have my hair curly, which is what I'm going to do right now. So, let me do this. Sorry. You know what? I'm just going to take the, basically my bangs because it's just easier. Alright. And just in case you're wondering, actually not wondering, um, I just had a, I just washed out a, a blowout. So, um, that's why my hair is a little straighter than it normally is, but whatever. Okay, so here we go. I tend to probably use a little more than I need to, but I don't know. It's just what I do. Okay, so we're gonna do this. I usually just take like this much. And I'll just kind of go through like this, the whole thing. At first it is kind of like straight, but then like as it dries, it, it um, will curl up again. So I'm just gonna just keep on doing this. And I'm pretty much gonna do this throughout my whole head. I'm debating on whether or not I wanna twist them up, but I, I might. Um, but basically this is what I do. I don't put too much in there because I don't, I don't really think I need to do that. And plus I think I'm gonna get my hair done um, this week by my hairdresser. But this is basically what I do. I mean, I don't even know what this looks like, but this is what I do. Honestly, I normally put way more, but for now, like this is, you guys, you guys get it.